Fierce fighting continues in the Russian-controlled eastern Donetsk and Luhansk regions. Ukraine's Deputy Defense Minister Hanna Malia said Russian forces were trying to encircle the city of Bakhmut in the Donetsk region. However, Malia added that the Russian troops were unable to achieve any success in their campaign in Bakhmut. Russian soldiers, alongside fighters from the Wagner Private Military Group, have been trying to seize Bakhmut since July. Gaining control of Bakhmut could give Russia a stepping stone to advance on two bigger cities, Kramatorsk and Slovyansk. At least one man was killed and five other people were injured following Russian shelling in Oleshki. Sami Arblast Governor Dmitro Javitsky reported that Russian troops shelled border communities of the region on December 27. Kiev said the Russian military shelled Kherson region 50 times over the past day, injuring three people. Russian troops also launched a missile attack on Kharkiv city on December 28. At the same day, Russian forces attacked Nikopol, Mahanets and Chervonorihorovka in the Dnipropetrovsk region. According to Ukraine, there is a report pointing out that Russian military shelled a hospital maternity ward in the liberated city of Kherson on December 27. At the end of the day, Ukraine said that its forces have killed over 550 Russian soldiers over the past day. Ukraine's general staff believes its rocket and artillery units hit a command post and six Russian concentration areas in the past 24 hours. He also said that its forces were able to destroy a Russian military ammunition warehouse. Ukraine also said that it spotted two convoys of Russian military equipment moving towards Berdyansk. Meanwhile, Russia's defense ministry said it has killed over 70 Ukrainian troops after shelling enemy units in southern Donetsk direction. In addition, over 30 Ukrainian soldiers is killed after attacking its manpower and hardware concentration areas in the Kupiansk direction. Ukrainian forces appear to have edged closer to recapturing the key Russian-controlled city of Kremina in the Luhansk region as heavy fighting continued in the east and south of the country. Luhansk regional governor Serhii Haidai said heavy battles were underway around the city on December 27. Fighters in parts of the city controlled by Russian command were forced to retreat to Rubizny, a town a few miles to the southeast, as a result of Ukrainian military pressure. The Russians understand that if they lose Kremina, their entire line of defense will fall. The Russian occupation troops managed to build a very powerful defense in a month, even a little more. They are bringing a huge amount of reserves and equipment. They are constantly renewing their forces. Recapturing Kremina and nearby Svatov could open the way for Kiev to launch an offensive on Severodonetsk and Lysychansk.